YouTube, you see the hat, so you should already know what it is. Your boy Geddon is a huge Giants fan, so it's a mega honor to create this player build. I'm talking about Saquon Barkley. I just hope I have enough skill sets and badge points to do this man justice. Let's get it. YouTube, it's your boy Gannon, and I'm back with another ESG football update. This free-to-play game is looking like a banger. Let's get it. All right, I already know what you're going to say. Gannon's team, the Giants, are trash. And you're right, they are trash. They're not playing good, but I always got to rep my boys. Right now, our offensive line is trash. Daniel Jones is looking like this is the last time he played for the Giants because we're going to have to draft the quarterback. It's all types of things going on with the Giants right now. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about Saquon Barkley. And before we get into that, please like the video, share the video, make sure you subscribe, especially if you want more build videos. I'm a Giants fan. Let me know if you are one too, or if you're a Cowboys fan or an Eagles fan or a Commanders fan, let's chop it up in the comment section below. Now that we got that out the way, let's focus on Saquon Barkley, the player, so we know exactly how to make the build. Saquon is a big running back, six foot, 235 pounds but he actually plays the game as if he's a small running back. He has a crazy physical stature and crazy skills. I mean, he got the burner. He could get past you by juking, by spinning, by stiff arming you. He could jump over you or he could run through you. He really has the total package. And if that wasn't enough, he could run out of the backfield and catch a pass because he got glue hands or he can actually run a real wide receiver route. This guy in real life is sick. So really, I really hope I have enough skill sets and enough badge points to really do this guy justice. Let's get into it. Remember, when you first start your build, your first slots for your skill sets are open to you. So that means I'm gonna go with Speedster twice, Jackrabbit, and another Jackrabbit. The next four slots that you can unlock, you unlock them at four ratings levels. One at 90, the next one at 95, then 97, then 99. So once you get to 90, you should definitely unlock Route Runner, then a third Jackrabbit at 95. At 97, you're gonna unlock Bruiser, and for that final skill set, you're gonna unlock Glue Hands. This opens up the build so much. You got 22 badge points for receiving, 30 for physicals, and 28 badge points for your rushing badges. It's sickening. Also, you have 13 for special teams and five badge points for blocking. Let's mess with his height and weight a little bit. Now, let's look at the stats. Receiving catch in traffic is a 87. Possession catch is a 94. Release is a 92. Route running is an 86. No hybrid linebacker is going to be able to keep up with you, nor any hybrid cornerback is going to be able to stop you once you get the ball in your hands. For physical, we have 30 badge points. Acceleration at an 85. Agility at a 96. Endurance isn't working properly. Jump at a 76. Speed at an 85, and we're gonna address that in a second. And strength at a 71. For rushing, you have 28 points for rushing. This guy is unstoppable. Carrying a 93, downhill running, 88. Elusiveness at a 96. Juke at a 96. Power run, 78. Spin at a 96. Stiff arm at a 78. And truck stick at a 78. So let's address some of these points. And if we're thinking correctly, that each badge level, bronze, silver, gold, hall of fame, legend, and goat add one point to your attributes to the respective badge then we are totally in business that means if you add goat you add plus six to that attribute that it's affecting so let's go into these badges so for blocking real quick we have five potential upgrades so we went with gold blockade and silver lumberjack gold blockade is actually going to help out your whole team with pass blocking so if the captain picks a play where you have to stay and pass block, that's going to add pass blocking to the whole team. That's a good badge to have. Lumberjack, just by any chance you're on special teams and you're blocking, you can go out there and cut block. For coverage, we're going with the 100% pure Saquon build. So we have nothing in coverage, nothing in engaging, nothing in passing. 
So for physicals, we had 30 potential upgrades. So we added silver all day. That's gonna decrease the endurance penalty when performing an elusive move. Saquon got those springs, so we added Silver Skyscraper, we added Hall of Fame Muscle, and we added Hall of Fame Quick Adjuster. And because Saquon Barkley is such a good route runner in real life, we had to add Quick Adjuster just to make sure that he could actually do that on the field. I mentioned before his speed is at 85, with GOAT it's now at a 91, same thing with his acceleration, and his agility is at 102. Mind you, Saquon Barkley in this game how we have him, he's 6 feet 235 pounds. All that is factored in on how these players move, so we needed to add GOAT to Shifty to make him move like how Saquon Barkley will move, and I'm very confident that we achieved that. For receiving, we had 22 potential badge points. We have one bronze badge, basket catch. For silver, we have sticky hands and play extender. Play extender is interesting. It increases how quickly the playmaker directional icon appears beneath the wide receiver. For gold, we have soft hands. We have rocket catch increases run after catch rating when attempting to catch a bullet pass. Diamond hands increases catch in traffic rating. We have two Hall of Fame badges. Eyes downfield increases run after catch rating. And because Saquon Barkley is also a really good route runner, we went with Hall of Fame Fancy Feet. That increases your route running. And we have 28 badge points for rushing. And I really hope these badges complement the run style of Saquon Barkley. A big back, but really runs around like an elusive back. We have four silver badges. Freight train for truck sticking, haymaker for stiff arms, increases our elusiveness rating the first three seconds, which is boosted, and break loose, increases the probability to break a tackle when performing a power run skill move. We also have four gold badges. We have gold spin cycle, gold bunnies, gold boogie for jukes, and gold for ankle breaker. If our elusiveness rating wasn't high enough, we got it on Hall of Fame for Teflon. It increases our elusiveness rating. And our stop and go, that's also at Hall of Fame. Stop and go, it increases our acceleration after performing a hesitation move. And as usual, my same setup for special teams, bronze knuckleballer, goat lionheart, goat focus so there you have it you have a pure speedster supreme jackrabbit proficient route runner and a proficient bruiser again this is the beta things aren't working properly possibly so suggested position is slot receiver and cornerback i can't imagine that's actually accurate more than likely it's going to have me as a star running back like they have my offensive assessment as a superstar and defensive assessment i'm a bench player for the last time this is the pure 100 saquon barkley build we're not going to have any defense so what do you guys think about this build do you think it's accurate is there anything you want me to change do you have a request for the next build thank you guys for watching for those who stuck around for this long I do work very hard on these videos. I really appreciate the fans that actually watch the videos. If you watch the video all the way to the end, let me know in the comment section below. And until the next time, this is all I got. This is your boy Geddon, and I'm out of here.